price. Another argument I saw during the format war a lot was people were saying HD DVD is better because it's cheaper. What more needs to be said? It's cheaper, therefore it's better for the consumer. Players are cheaper, discs, well, discs are about the same, but the players are cheaper. Okay. Did you ever stop and think about why the players were cheaper? The players were cheaper because HD DVD was getting its ass kicked on a regular basis in sales by Blu-ray. They, they priced the players far cheaper than they realistically should have long before the market was ready to support players at that price point. Okay. Now, as new technology is is accepted and as more manufacturers make players and such and compete with each other it drives the prices down this is an economic fact this is the way the world works okay HD DVD players were priced cheaper because Toshiba was so freaking desperate to get it to catch on they did that solely to make it more attractive to consumers they were losing money on players they were selling them for less than it cost to make them Okay, the only people making any money off of it were the electronics chains who would get them at fire sale prices from the manufacturers and then sell them with, you know, their standard 50% markup or 40% markup, whatever it happens to be. Yeah, so in the end, the consumers really got screwed by that. Everybody who bought into HD DVD really got screwed by it because they didn't stop and think that, wait a minute, this technology is still really new. Should it be this cheap? That's what you really got to do. Ask questions. If something seems too good to be true, chances are it is. It's one of the oldest sayings in the book. And in the case of HD DVD, it definitely applied. Now, now that Blu-ray is the only game in town, I still see this pricing argument coming up again and again and again. People are saying, no, you know, I know Blu-ray caught on, but HD DVD should have caught on because it was cheaper. It was cheaper and therefore better. No. Rewind to what I just finished saying, okay? not better because it wasn't ready to be offered at that price point yet the market does not support it yet and that's why blu-ray players are still expensive because blu-ray players are priced realistically that is realistically what players of a new technology should cost at this point in the history of the format go back a few years look at how much dvd players cost when they first came out you pay like a grand for a DVD player. For a DVD player! Come on! But it was new technology. It hadn't caught on yet, so it was expensive. Look at when VCRs came out. VHS VCRs. A thousand bucks or more for a VCR. Can you imagine paying a thousand dollars for a VCR? Well, bet you any money people did because they wanted the latest, greatest technology. It's the same thing with Blu-ray. It's the same thing with every new technology. It's expensive when it first comes out. Now, having said that, Blu-ray is in a difficult position because HD DVD set the bar so low, people are expecting Blu-ray players to be at that price point pretty damn fast because it's what they've been conditioned to accept as normal for a high definition player price because of HD DVD's paranoia. Well, not paranoia, but basically panicking because they knew they were losing. If you look at the sales figures, okay, there's a site called, um, I don't actually have the website on hand, but I can, <clears throat> I can find you some, uh, some uh, images, basically, that, that are of actual sales figures. From February of 2007 until the end of the format war, Blu-ray outsold HD DVD every single week. That includes the week that Transformers came out exclusively on HD DVD. That was their big, uh, that was the one that they were hoping would be their big coup. The one that they were hoping would turn the tide in favor of HD DVD. Okay, because Paramount went HD DVD exclusive, and there's a lot of theories about what was going on behind the scenes there. Um, but um, I'll get into that in another HD rant, just to sort of clear the air with that and clarify what exactly was going on. Um, that's another story. <clears throat> but even the week that Transformers came out, Blu-ray still beat it. 
So what I couldn't understand was why so many people were putting so much stock into, into HD DVD when it was clear over a year ago that it was losing. And it didn't stop losing until it lost. It just didn't make sense. So, yeah, so next time you see a new format come out, whatever it happens to be, or a new technology, just to even more, more broaden, the, like to broaden the spectrum even more, any new technology, if you see some new technology come out and it's really cheap, ask yourself why and actually do some digging to find out why it's so cheap. Now, in the case of HD DVD, it didn't make any sense at all for it to be that cheap. Now, the, um, the high-def market itself represents a very, very small percentage of the total home video market. So why would something that represents such a small percentage be suddenly priced so low? DVD players are cheap as borscht because everybody has DVDs. Everybody has DVDs. And if they don't, well, they're living in the Stone Age because... VHS is dead, folks. Face it. It's been dead a long time, actually. <laughs> um, and that's why you can go to Walmart now and pick up, you know, a progressive scan DVD player that can also play MP3s and DivX files for under 40 bucks. Because the technology is widespread, it's accepted, and the market can support that. The technology is cheap, and that savings has been passed on to the consumer. It's cheap to make them, so it's cheap, so they can sell them cheap. Okay? The same thing will happen with Blu-ray Blu players. Blu -ray, blah, blah. Um, it's already being said, in many circles, that we're going to be seeing Blu-ray players below $300 before Christmas. In fact, they are so desperate to get them out cheap that they're probably just going to swallow their pride, take a hit on the profit for the players, to make the money off the software and start selling them cheap before the summer hits. So by the time Christmas rolls around, you're going to see some decently priced Blu-ray players. So don't worry. The market will support it. But Blu-ray is not going to shoot themselves in the foot by pricing it too low before the market is ready to support it. That's one of the many things that killed HD DVD. They were being killed in sales and then they put another nail in their own coffin by pricing their players so low. That's the reality of it, folks. That's the reality. Okay? I know you may not like it, but that's the way the economy works. They jumped the gun and basically killed themselves. So, that's basically it. I just wanted to talk about the, the you know, the, the varying format war things and the and the price point, because I keep seeing the price thing showing up again and again. It's not a monopoly, okay? Blu-ray is not a monopoly. There's 180 companies in the Blu-ray Dig er, Blu Digital Alliance, Blu-ray Disc Association, and there's about 40 on the board of directors. Every single major hardware manufacturer has their finger in that pie. It is not a monopoly. We're going to see more players from more manufacturers. The prices are going to go down. And then you're going to start seeing deals on the software, too. So you're going to be able to get movies real cheap. Keep your eye on the bargain bins. They're coming. When the new generation of Blu-ray movies start to come out, you're going to see the first couple generations hit the bargain bins. Then you can build up a library real quick, real cheap. So hold off a little bit before you go spending 500 bucks on a Blu-ray player because they're not going to be that expensive for very much longer. Okay? Anyway, that's basically all I wanted to say this time around. Thanks for watching. Next time, next time, actually, I'm going to talk about the whole Paramount uh, fiasco when they went HD DVD exclusive, and just some of the conspiracy theories about the various studios supporting one side or the other. It's pretty laughable stuff, actually. <laughs> but uh, we'll get into that next time. So thanks for watching. Tune in again next time, and until then, sayonara. Yeah, I really got to work on that that sign off. See ya.